Hey guys, it's Puxbro. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the current ongoing event. This is going to be a quick little event guide for the Scorch Holiday event, and I'm going to go ahead and go over everything that you need to know to get the most out of the event. So first things first, I want to go ahead and talk about the uh, the Collectron. So in the Atomic Shop, we have a free Collectron. Um, I'll go ahead and show you right now. In the free and special section, there is a free Santa Collectron for everybody right here. And this is not just for cosmetics. It actually has a chance to give you gifts in the um, Collectron deposit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right now. I'm going to go ahead and change my BOS Collectron to the Santa one for the event. And the event will be... Uh, uh, ongoing from today until January 4th. Oh, we can actually go to this and just hit R and then we can um, store it. All right. And right here we have the Santron station. Now that it's placed, you want to go ahead and enter its terminal. Yeah, it actually looks like you don't have to pick anything. So if you want, you could change it to the other ones. Um, but ideally, you want the this one right here, token name, a subroutine, scavenge, nice, naughty gifts. And this will give you a decent flow of free gifts passively, um, according to some other sources. So I'll go ahead and show you that once it actually generates a gift. And as you guys can see right here, we have a small holiday gift just in the Santron <laughs> Collectron station. So this is a very good way to just get the passive uh, presents. So for this Collectron, if you don't like the Santa look, I believe you can use a different Collectron, but just use the terminal to switch to the Santa or holiday like programming. That way you'll still get the holiday gift drops. Um, another thing is if you have Fallout first and you have a um, access to a private server, you can claim all of the workshops on the private server. And then you can put a Collectron uh, per workshop plus your camp. And then you can program all of them to do the holiday um, gift wrapping or gift boxes for you. That way you can actually rack up a bunch of passive um, gifts just from collectrons on a private world. The next thing to talk about is how you can actually go out of your way to... Wait, both collectrons are out here. <laughs> wait, what? wait a second. All right, so the next thing that I want to go ahead and talk about is how to find the actual event Scorch. They are going to be able to spawn uh, anywhere where normal Scorch are able to spawn. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to uh, show Morgantown Airport. But I have a map in the description that will show a bunch of different spawn locations so that way you guys can uh, see where you want to farm them. And you can hear that there's actually an audio queue. So I'll go ahead and have the audio increase right now. And it sounds like almost like a Santa sleigh. And you can see this is a legendary Scorch Wanderer. Um, this guy's wearing like a Christmas looking kind of outfit. He doesn't really have the Santa hat, uh, but we'll go ahead and kill him. And then when we loot him, you can see he has a chance of dropping a three different types of holiday gifts. Uh, I think it's a small, medium or large, which is pretty much like the minor pails from the legendary event. So there's like the regular pail or the regular gift, which would be small. And then there's like the better or more rare, which is gonna probably be the medium holiday gift. And then there's the large holiday gift, which is gonna have the best rewards. They're also all gonna be legendary. So we can go ahead and get the legendary weapons from them. All right, and let's go ahead and open this gift. Just like the um, Mole Miner event, opening the gift will give you uh, ammo contingent on what weapon you have currently equipped. So I have the Gatling gun, which is gonna be a five millimeter weapon. So when I open the gift, it should give me five millimeter ammo as well. And right here we can see in the aid tab, we have the small holiday gift. This is a low quality present, but we can open this guy. Got some coal, some vodka. I don't even know if this one gives ammo. I might need the uh, next tier to actually give ammo. Let me see if I can find another Holiday Scorched. Oh, there's the audio cue. I guess they don't have Santa hats, but they're wearing these very blue suits. We got this one. This one's a regular Holiday gift and the legendary armor. So let's go ahead and look at this one. Here we go, medium quality present. So this one right here gave me the Ultrasight 5mm rounds as my weapon is primed and it's using Ultrasight 5mm. Um, and we'll see if we get anything good. I'll have all the rewards linked in the description. Um, that way you can see if there's any rewards you wanna farm from the event. And uh, I think they added some new ones for this time of the year. Let me see if I can find a high quality present. All right, and doing this collision course event forcibly spawns five waves of Scorched and it actually has a chance of spawning the Holiday Scorched. So right here we have one, he's wearing a Santa suit and I'll go ahead and open this small gift really quick just so you guys can kind of see the rewards. Although I think the small gift is not very, not very good. Jingles the Moon Monkey. Here we go, we got another legendary one. The one star legendary wearing a different outfit. 
and he dropped a large holiday gift. So yeah, the legendary of the enemy does not change the the gift reward. It looks like it's just random drop. And looks like we have another one that spawned in for us. It's actually a really nice way. <laughs> it's wearing a little little bit of a different outfit. Another large one. All right, so I can open two large ones. We can take a look. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other events. Oh, there is another event in the Cranberry Bog that spawns a bunch of Scorched. So if you go down here, um, there is a event, I believe at Fort Defiance, where you have to defend a missile launcher and it spawns a bunch of Scorched. I'm sure that will be able to actually spawn the Holiday Scorched as well. And then I think other than Collision Course, which is the event I'm doing right now, and then the event at Fort Defiance, I don't think there's another event that'll spawn Scorched. Um, but if there is one, leave a comment in the description or <laughs> leave a comment down below. That way uh, the rest of us can find out. All right, let's go ahead and open these two gifts. There we go. And make sure not to stack them too quickly. I heard that sometimes if you open too many of them at the same time, you won't get the proper rewards. So kind of space them out. Uh, I would say maybe wait till all the messages clear. I haven't personally confirmed it, but you know, you never know. And there's another holiday scorched up there. Let me see if I can bring them down here. So just from this event alone, I think we've gotten like three or four holiday scorched. Okay, and we'll open another large gift. And you can see it's still giving me the ammo that I'm using, which is ultra sight. I've gotten like several hundred rounds now, like 600. And this event is server hoppable, like uh, since it is an exterior, you could, and it's triggered by the player walking up, you could always jump to a different server. And then if that server hasn't done the event recently, you could start the event up and then boom, you get more holiday scorch just coming to you. So there are gonna be three tiers of gifts and those are the gifts that you can loot and craft. So there's gonna be three different types of gift wrapping paper that we can actually buy. And you can buy this gift wrapping paper from pretty much every vendor and every vendor will have their own stock and I believe server hopping will also replenish their stock. It's gonna be very similar to the mole miner event when you're buying those pails to craft. Uh, we can go to trade and then we can go ahead and go to uh, misc and then right here we have the high quality gift wrapping paper, we have the low quality gift wrapping paper, and then we have the medium quality gift wrapping paper. And I believe you can indeed use charisma to lower these prices uh, at, to a minimum. So if you're going to be large buying in bulk, then I recommend trying to get maximum charisma, whether that's joining a team or using great mentas or any perk cards. So to acquire handmade gifts, all of the faction-based vendor bots sell gift wraps in three tiers. Um, and each vendor will have one of each gift wrap. You can craft the gifts at a Tinker's Workbench. Super duper does not work on them. And so yeah, this is going to be all of the uh, possible loot from the event. From the different gifts. Let's see here. These are going to be all the plans. And I'm scrolling kind of fast, but this link will be in the description so you can take a look for yourself. And there's also tips on where to find Scorch, but I also have a map attached as well. Vendor inventory of gift wrap will reset with a server hop, so you can buy out you know, all the vendors on a server, all the um, faction vendors, and then you can server hop to buy more. This is the cheapest that you can get the gifts at with max charisma. And they say that the best gifts to craft are the medium uh, tier gifts because the cost is 66% less. Um, even though you get 33% less in terms of like your odds for the good drops, uh, you save a lot of cost in terms of caps. So medium is still the most cost efficient. And this is similar to the, mo to the mole miner event as well. And another good note is keep a close eye on your caps and script when opening gifts because you can reach your max and you will not get the, you know, the difference um, if you're already at max caps and script. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this section. I'll go ahead and demonstrate the actual crafting of this. For the purpose of this video, we'll just get a medium quality gift wrap, but I'm going to go ahead and equip our cards and everything to go ahead and try to lower the price. So we can take off one of these and we can go uh, magnetic personality. And then let's go ahead and hop in a team. And I think it was like 800 something caps, but now it'll be 750. So we'll go ahead and buy a medium gift wrap. And then let's go ahead and head over to my camp and then we can do a some crafting at the Tinker's Workbench. And so now that we have purchased um, the crafting material, which is just the gift wrap from the vendor, we can go to a Tinker's Workbench, we can go to craft. No perk cards will help you in crafting them, so it's going to be a one for one. Um, no super duper cheese or super duper luck. Um, 
And then we can go over here to gifts and then you can see all of the options and you're gonna need adhesive uh, i currently don't have an adhesive guide if you do need an adhesive but i will be making that in the future so <laughs> if you need an adhesive guide i'll hopefully have an adhesive guide maybe before the event ends um, that way you guys can get enough adhesive to craft a bunch of these gifts um, but we can go ahead and craft the medium quality gift wrap or the medium quality gift there we go, you get a little bit of XP for it, and then we can just exit out and open it in our inventory. Once you craft it, it'll appear in the aid section, and we can go ahead and see the handmade holiday gift. This means that this is the one that I crafted, and we can open this guy. And there you go. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, hopefully, I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. But yeah, happy holidays. I hope everybody stays safe and cozy. And until next time.